Welcome to Podcast. This is your host, Bennett Fox Hushy, with your host, The King. Welcome to the podcast. This is our first podcast, and we're going to call it Podcast uh, for your reference. Wow. Uh, so, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm going to tell a little bit of myself. My channel, which probably this is going to be uploaded on, it's Bennett Fox Hushy. And we have King's channel. The King 8124. Yep. And uh, for the first time, to- so. Funny story, King's a new furry. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you. Thank welcome. you. Pops all around. Uh, we're gonna talk about the first convention I went to slash King. And yeah. King went there as not a furry, yeah, I leaving went... as a furry. <laughs> yeah. But we're gonna start uh, beginning to end. If you guys haven't seen my cat pa- camp paw video, I recommend seeing it before watching this or listening to this. Uh, if anyone ever does in life. If. If. <laughs> That's the thing. We're doing this podcast podcast for fun. Uh, so let's get we it. are <laughs> disclaimer: we are absolutely not professionals. <laughs> this is our first, and if anyone has any topics they want us to talk about, please let us know. Uh, right. So the first topic we're going to talk about today is Camp Pa, our yes. first convention. First convention. And. Uh, so and my conversion. <laughs> everyone's like, what's Camp Pa? Good question. Uh, most people don't know that's a convention in the furry fandom because it's a Montana convention. It's only capped to 100 people who could go, but it's a campground where you uh, go camping, and it's pretty it's pretty dope. Yes, there are a couple pictures on the wall. This course, little one here. Editing, I will add Us, some. yes. Here's a picture. Here's a picture. And here's a video. So, where's Camp Pa located? Uh, I was next to Idaho. Yeah, it's it's on it's a couple miles from the Idaho border. It's about thirty five minutes south of Darby, Montana. If anybody knows where the hell that's at, we gotta show how we did not. Know. <laughs> so we're gonna tell how the trip went, and uh, so let's go back what five months ago. When I ask you, you Roughly. want to go. So I wanted a camera guy to record me in suit. Yeah. If you can't, it, it's hard to record in suit. Anyone who fur suits and wants to make content. And uh, I asked King, I'm like, hey, I'll pay for it. I know you're not a furry. It won't be fair. We're taking one furry out of the convention. But you know what? It, we bought these tickets like five months in advance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four or five months in advance. Uh so we started going at five in the morning. It was a July twenty first. Yeah. Well, I was told that he would be to my house at five o'clock. I told him we're leaving at. No, five. he told me that I was. He said, and I quote, "I will be at your house at five o'clock, and we can get ready to go." I was like, "All right." So I wake up with the time I normally do for work, about four thirty, and he texts me. He's like, "Hey, I'm almost there. Get ready." I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I thought you were coming over at 5. I <laughs> swear I told you we're leaving at 5. I swear you did not tell so, me that. why so early in the morning, living in Montana? Is Mon- People don't understand, Montana is a giant state. Yes. Because it took, it took a, it takes six hours drive halfway across the state. Yes, we live in south central Montana, right around Billings. Yeah. And it is a six hour drive from us and we didn't even leave the state. Yeah, it's a six hour drive there. Uh about six, six and a half, that's what they yeah. said. We got there earlier than we thought with the okay. last stops. But to be fair, I hauled ass. <laughs> okay, to be fair, you rushed me so much and we were three hours early. So the restorations at to be fair, being three hours early, we got our camping spot. We we, got set up. we did get probably, in my opinion, the best camping spot in the whole area. Oh yeah, it was. We great. were literally right in the middle of everything. Yeah, but on this road trip, so let's start on the road trip itself. We leave at five. We left. I hurry up, Dalton, well King, and I was like, "Hey, King." He grabs a small blanket and pillow. I was like, "Is that going to be enough?" And, you know, it's summertime. We hit about 90 to 100 degrees mid, you know, afternoon. So, he only grabs a small blanket and pillow to sleep on. 
We have cots and a giant eight man tent for two of us. Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine." And I was fine until no. I woke up. <laughs> yeah. And it was about thirty degrees outside. <laughs> And I had on a pair of shorts and a very light, very light (laughs) t-shirt. And uh, I woke up and could not move. It was that cold. It was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. I even had like a winter sleeping bag. I was still cold. I was like, I was going to wake up one morning, turn over and look and King's just dead. He's like, you know, like (laughs) when you open a freezer, you grab a... A frozen <laughs> popsicle. You're like in the cartoons, light blue, just there. You're dead. like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyways, he grabbed that, and we're like, yeah, we're good. So we we start going, and uh, it wasn't a bad trip, really. No, honestly, it was incredibly scary about how well it the went. driving trip went. <laughs> the whole trip went phenomenal. The, the start to finish, the entire trip was amazing oh yeah but the drive there like i felt like two hour drive yeah it was a six hour drive but it felt like two hours yeah we had a good time but on our trip we went seven stops at least yeah montana's super spread out and if you ever travel through i recommend every 50 to 100 miles refill your tank even if that you're not even close to empty your montana's super spread out and gas stations are super spread out there's a lot of out-of-staters who always get stranded because they're like, wow, I haven't seen a gas station in like 200 miles. Yep. And a lot of, it takes gas. Our highways and everything take up gas very easily. Uh, yes, they do. But we stopped like seven gas stations. We, we, you went to use the bathroom for like 30 minutes in one, I swear. And we made it on top. We made it well, super early. We Okay. <laughs> so when we left, the GPS said we'd get there at noon, which was like, all right. And he was in such a fucking hurry to get there. And uh, even though we stopped way more times than we wanted to, we still made it to the campground at 12 o'clock exactly. on the dot. We put the truck in park, and I watched the clock hit 12.01. Yeah, it was weird, <laughs> because, like, there was, like, four, only four campers. Yeah, there, yeah, there was there was probably... Four setups. Four four camps yeah. set up. So, we're like, oh, man, are we at the right camp? Yeah, we were like, are we at the right place? Because the way that he was saying, we, man, we need to get there, we need to get there, I figured it started in the morning. So, did I, you know what? I didn't even read the theme. Most conventions start right away. So I was like, oh, shit, when he get there? But I don't want to wait in line. I want to have a yeah. camping spot. I want to be ready. Yeah. And we did do that. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. Three hours before registration. Yeah. But to be fair, it was nice to stretch for it a bit. It was. We got to just hang out, relax, get everything set up, take our time. And then the crowd came. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, the first night wasn't, the first night wasn't no, busy. No. We, we probably only got a quarter of the people showing up on the thir- on the Thursday night. Yeah. Well, going back to the road trip, though, we found this store that had no one there. It has a small gas station there. No one there. And it had everything. Oh, my. It was it was essentially if a Cabela's and a Walmart, and a had, Walmart a had a baby. <laughs> yeah. It was. It had guns. So, Camp Pa has guns. Oh yes, very many guns. That's here's a video. With guns. Yeah, here's here, here, here's one. here's Fennec shooting a shooting fifty. 50. <laughs> My dream gun. Yes. But uh, <laughs> stupid TikTok. I just think it's funny because uh, we were like we're gonna go to what Butte's Walmart. Yeah, we were gonna stop at Walmart and Butte to get extra things that we didn't like. We didn't want to get ice right away. Yeah, we had to get hours. all had to get all of our cold stuff. Yeah, meats and everything. And uh, we're like, fuck. I, I was like, fuck, I don't want to drive through Butte. I mean, Butte's like, it's not a big city. I just, people are dumb around Yeah, there. yeah, people are just crazy. Stupid. Suicidal cars. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, we went there and all of a sudden I was like, oh, shit, what's this? So we turn and I was like, we were going to drive right past this 
amazing baby birth store. Oh my goodness. No, we we turned to hit the off ramp to go to Walmart. And as we're getting up on the on ramp, Hushy looks over and he's like, What's that store there? And we're driving by and we're looking at it, we're reading it, and it says Guns, Groceries, Beer, Ice. And we're like, Oh, we're stopping there. <laughs> I bought $130 worth of ammo. $130 worth of ammo. <laughs> 308 and 12 gauge. Yeah. Double barrel. That's sitting in the corner. I don't want to go pick it up. <laughs> yeah. But we yeah, we bought ammo. We bought ice that we need. We got ice. We got all of our cold stuff. We got some extra snacks. We got one thing. And we keep forgetting it. Oh. Instant coffee. <laughs> Instant coffee. We at, at least seven times we stopped. We stop. We get out of the truck. I look at Hushy. Hey, we need instant coffee. We go in, do our thing, come out, start back on the road. I look over at Hushy. Hey, we forgot the instant coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Every time. And we bought coffee creamer before we left. Damn well known we didn't have coffee. <laughs> Yeah, we were so like we we, we were so incredibly unprepared that we were a little bit over prepared. Yeah, we were over prepared. We just couldn't get the coffee. It's not that we couldn't get it; it's just we kept forgetting to get it. Yeah. Uh, so we shopped there for an hour. Yeah, roughly about forty-five minutes. About roughly. thirty-five, forty-five minutes. Yeah. Uh, it was great. Not gonna lie, I wish we had more stores like that. Like this store is like. It was not near anything. Oh, no. Was, I expected nothing for the store. Yeah, no. And it had gas station, which yeah. was really nice. And we filled up. And it was really good gas. We got really good gas mileage yeah, out of it, too. And it was a lot. That was before we were at Butte, where we had to go through the mound, like, the whatever that was. No, it was it was on the Butte side of the pass. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it was fun. It was great. But, uh, yeah, we did a couple stops. We got our ice. And then... Uh, when we got to the Idaho, <laughs> you hear, welcome to Idaho, entering Montana. Because yeah, like, the GPS, because we, we drove, we didn't actually go into Idaho. We just, like, kind of scooted right across the line. <laughs> but uh, the G- we had the GPS on, and uh, all of a sudden, it said, welcome to Idaho, entering Montana. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, wow. Nifty. Yeah, you could tell we were in Idaho. Everything was on fire. Yes, very smoky. Yeah, Idaho was on fire right now. A lot of places are. We were on fire. I think we right? were on fire last weekend. Yeah, we were. <laughs> but when you get uh, when you get towards the camp, there's like no service. No service. We went four days without service, which I was fine with because I needed it. Yes. Away from my phone. But like I downloaded the map offline on Google. Thank God I did. Oh my God! There's no way in hell we would have found yeah. it. Camp Paw is super hard to find. Like they sent exact coordinates. Yeah, they, they don't give they don't give you an address or a location. They give you coordinates. Yeah, because that's just where it's at. And uh, yeah, so we we got there. I was like, oh shit! Because I'm thinking to myself, did I read it wrong? Yeah, we, we got here? there. There was nobody there. We're like, are we at the right place? So I'm here thinking to myself, fuck me, did we just waste this trip? We <laughs> so, were so ready. And so we saw this group of cars and there were some people around talking and so we pull over and we get out and we're unpacking everything and uh, Hushy pulls out the fursuit and somebody looks over and screams, oh my god, it's the Fen. <laughs> and we're like, oh, we're definitely at the right place. <laughs> but before we got there, when we are going through the Idaho area... It was an old lady. Oh my goodness. So we we left this little tiny town called Wisdom. And it's probably 45, almost 50 miles of winding mountain road. I was going over the speed limit. We were, I was going the, 70 and yeah, 55. Yeah, the speed limit was 55. He was in such a hurry. He was doing 70. And I had to use the bathroom. Yeah, and he had to use the bathroom. So we so, were really hauling ass. Yeah, we're hauling ass. And we're on like a straight line for a second. And on a double yellow striped line, I see a vehicle sneaking up behind us. <laughs> slowly part, like, not even slowly, like, immediately starts oh my passing goodness. us. I look, and there's a fat, like, a very, very elderly, white hair old lady 
just driving past us going 90 at least at least 90 miles an hour yeah passes us and then I was like, "You never saw her. Again. <coughs> you probably went off the mountain all week." Oh no, we 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 could see her for about five minutes. Yeah, in the distance. and then she was just gone, never disappeared. Again. Like even the no road. no, and then and then after we got within probably oh five miles from turning to where we go to start getting out of service and into the forest. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> um. There's a a little convoy of campers going real slow, and this is probably f- what, 45 minutes after she had gone and disappeared. And you'll sure as shit, we seen her sitting at the end of that fucking train, peeking over, peeking over, peeking over, vroom, it's a, it's gone. A, this is still a yellow striped line. The, yeah, still solid double yellow line. Yeah, she just dude, she had nothing. Like, like, no, no regrets. Yeah. Absolutely none. Oh, yeah. I did a count on the road work there and back. There was seven freaking stops, too, on road work. At least seven or eight. Yeah. Because Montana, there's always going to be road work. (laughs) Yeah, here in Montana, we have three seasons. Cold, cold as shit, and road work. And then you (laughs) have the between seasons, hot as fuck. Hot as fuck and literally on fire. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> we gotta beat that <laughs> that word uh yeah disclaimer not family friendly <laughs> yeah yeah but anyways the road trip was amazing up there we were telling jokes looking <laughs> up jokes you were past the dump. like this six hour or seven hour trip felt like two hours like it was so fun yeah e- even with all of our stops yeah and we, we still needed that <laughs> yeah so we get to camp off explain people may i took out suit head everyone freaked out no one knows who i am but they know the fennec the big Every, ears. everybody knows the ears yeah uh so we get there we set up so this eight man fucking tent cuss beat that out while she uh <laughs> after editor notes, type. <laughs> um this tent we have i was like oh i know i hate setting up tents you have to pull the poles through and everything. No, this eight man tent took us like what five minutes most, and you just connect yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Liter- literally, it just snaps onto the pole and it snaps it tight, and then you stake it down, and it's it's up. Yeah, and it was it's easy ser- to take down. It seriously took us five minutes to put up, five maybe ten minutes to take down. Yeah, maybe we had to roll up and trying to find. It. We didn't even fit it in the box at that point. We no, we it. we just tied a string around. Why don't it. they just make the bags a little bit bigger? Like, why don't they just not put them in bags? You know what? That's a, that's a good point. <laughs> hey, man, don't say that on podcast. I'm going to take your idea. Copyright that. Copyrighted. Okay. Bagless tent. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, podcast is not sponsored by box tents. <laughs> 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 so, continuing... Uh, we set up our tent. It was great. We walked around. We're like, we're stretching, man. Like, after a long ride, you want to... walk around, stretch, stretch. your legs, First take in the sights. was a little quiet. You know, it wasn't bad. And then the DJ came along. The DJ That's came the on, only man. That you camera for me. That was the... And I only cameraed for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. Now, this is the night where King was like, am I a furry? <laughs> Would you like to tell that story out there in the DJ? So, I was recording Hushy, and we were all just kind of sitting there dancing, but I was recording, and just wasn't really vibing, I guess. And then, uh... Well, to be fair, you weren't, he's not a furry. Yeah, I was, I was, I wasn't a furry when I went. He did have a fursuit on, and like, should we say the names of these people, or should we just... Beep it. No names. Yeah, no names. Uh, yeah, you could tell he was like he was having fun, but he wasn't like yeah. everyone else. Like I w- yeah, I w- I was still having a good time. I just wasn't dancing, or I was just kind of sitting there swaying around, just kind of in my own little world. And then uh, someone came over and put their hand out like so, and I thought they wanted a high five, so I went to give them my high five. And they grabbed my hand and just 
kind of pulled me onto the pulled me into the middle of everything and every we were just dancing and having a good time and from there on everything was just like all right we're here to party let's party yeah you were like and party we, we did were man to the tent that night after the partying and stuff you're like i don't know how i feel about that <laughs> yeah i was like i don't i don't know what it was about that but it made you feel great but it you just you felt wrong to you for some reason yeah it was just really weird it's like I had no choice but to do it, and it was just strange for me. (laughs) But it was a really good time. Yeah, it was, it was great. And uh, so we have the friends. I'm gonna say the DJ's name because they don't care. DJ uh, DJ Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Uh, and his wife. Um, and they had what's the cheesehead guy? Uh, I know him. He's a good friend. I just can't think of his. Kite. 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 And And then his wife. His girlfriend, I think. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, Uh, wife. Same thing. Yeah, but Cooper's uh, and his wife makes, uh, you know, suits. They make their own fursuits. Yeah, so they brought a couple and uh, King asked to borrow one one day. But they're fine with that. I just just wanted to try something new and have a little fun. Did it change your life? It did. (laughs) It really. I. (laughs) I... Don't think I took that suit off all weekend. Yeah, you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, because if you watch my video, the first day you you see King No Suit, and the next day you see a purple fox, kind of fox, and it's like, all right, uh, yeah, so you started wearing that suit more, huh? And, uh, that's when you're like, am I a furry? <laughs> and at the end of the camp, you did admit it. You're like, it's been fun, it's great. You've seen what the community's like. So, let's go to day two. Day two. Our best friend in the world showed up on day two. Okay, so day two, King got up early with me at six, but I think you went back to yeah. lay down because you did not sleep because of No, I, I didn't sleep because it was so fucking cold, so we went out and we made some breakfast and we ate some nice hot food. And by, by the time we were done eating, it had warmed up a little bit. And so I went and laid back down and try to catch a, catch a couple Z's and woke up about four hours later. <laughs> okay, let me tell my story before we go to your view. So, I was up. It was maybe 7 o'clock now. And uh, this guy from Arizona, oh, I love him to death. Uh, Angie. Yep. Yeah, freaking love that guy to death. I was walking across camp because I had to, you know, do a number two. Had to take your... Morning yeah. meeting. And I uh, I was with this other Fennec who shared a tent with us. Great guy. Love him. Uh, I was walking and I was trying to see this uh, AJ. Well, AJ. Not AJ. My guy, Angie. Angie. Yeah. Or you can call him AJ. I called him AJ. Yeah, He's I call fine him AJ sometimes too. Uh, I saw him struggling <laughs> trying to cook. Because he didn't he didn't have the proper actual pans and stuff to cook over fire. And he was like stuff was sticking and stuff. So I've offered to help him and show him some things, what to do, how to cook on fire and stuff. But yeah, you can ask King. I love cooking. Uh, she is a phenomenal chef. Yeah. I uh, I know I have pretty good experience. I know what to use. Not trying to brag. But, yes, uh, he is. Yeah, I'm bragging. Uh, but <laughs> I helped him and I was like, hey, man, if you want, you could stay by our camp. So I helped him move his stuff to our camp and stuff. And then... I sat, talked to him, I made him some breakfast and stuff, and he offered me some tea, but we didn't have coffee, and I do love tea, I te- choose tea over coffee, and uh, we talked for a bit, and the king finally woke up. Yeah, I, uh, I woke up, and I hear him outside talking, and I figure he's talking to the other Fennec. So, you know, I get up, stretch, walk out, and there's just this random person just sitting in our camp. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Who's our new friend? <laughs> and, uh, yeah... He was probably one of the coolest people we met on that trip. Oh, yeah. Like, full out. Great guy. Absolutely amazing. Angie, if you were watching this, we love you, brother. Yeah. We love uh, you, man. Your picture's right there, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'll remember you. Hopefully, we'll see you next year. Hopefully, we'll see uh, you next year. Yeah, so we shared camp. And day two wasn't too crazy either. It was Friday. Yeah, peop- day two afternoon, people started showing up. Yeah. And 
the party on day two was all right. It was, there was quite a few people it there. Was sizzle DJ. Not yeah. Sizzle. It wasn't Sizzle. No, it Sizzle. Was Marcel, whatever. No, Mastel was the first night. Who was that? No, second night was Sizzle. No, because Sizzle was Saturday night. Oh, no, it was, uh... Oh, what's his name? The other one that stayed next to us. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't remember his name. I can look To be up. fair, we haven't talked much with him. Next yeah, we, we didn't talk a lot with him. He was a great guy. He did come visit us a couple times, and he was very nice each time. I like to say, while well, Dolan's searching this, uh, King searching this up, uh, it's, <laughs> this camp was a great experience because everyone got along. It wasn't like a, I never been to a convention, but what I hear is people had their own groups, but this convention, all these hundred people were one group. You, yes. If you need some, just ask. If you, you were bored, alone, just walk in. It ain't awkward, but everyone gets along so well. But, yeah, second night, they had a couple more things going on. Uh, they had first night of Stump. Stump is a great Stump game. Stump was amazing. We didn't play. Hammer Uh, What else happened? I know they had D&D. Uh, D and D tail making. We didn't join any of those. I didn't take interest. I think we kind of just chilled. Yeah, we just h- kind of hung yeah. out most of the weekend. Hung out with uh, Cooper and them, and uh, they we had fresh mountain water, best water I ever Ooh. had. Like if you guys don't ever go to Montana and pump out from a fresh clear lake, you're not doing it right. God, there's a lot more people in this group than I thought. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we did that second night. Soul Ember. Soul Ember, yeah. He, he, I guess we could he had a really... I can't paw 2020 thing I have hung up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he was, uh, Soul Ember, I, I liked his set. He had yeah. a good set. He had a good set. I mean, all, every DJ was fucking phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Even, Absolutely. I'm gonna bring up one person later who deserves the fame for being the first yes. time ever yes. DJing. And this fuck okay, I'll, I'll explain it later, but uh, we'll we'll get that we'll get to that on uh Sunday night. Yeah, but uh, going back, we just chilled mostly. You wear the suit more. Uh, we we had a couple drinks and then uh we DJed and partied, and then we hung out a little bit around the tent and we went to bed. Nothing yeah. crazy, but time flew. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah, the second day went by pretty quick. Yeah. Saturday was the biggest night. Saturday was the biggest night. Yes, it was. So, Sizzle, DJ, great DJ. I love his first song. If you guys don't know that furry meme of, uh, uh, God, I don't know what it's called, with the cat, uh, here's a song reference. But, uh, I loved I love Sizzle. He's great. He's another another Lemon Brat suitor. You don't know I'm a Lemon Brat suitor. And uh, I couldn't wait to watch him DJ. But the whole Saturday start of the day, we woke up. I made eggs and bacon. If I remember. Diced up bacon. Mm, I'll Every, be remember. I don't remember Saturday. You know, <laughs> yeah, we... To be fair, we were both very intoxicated Saturday. Very, very inebriated, yes. Yeah, we drunk a lot. And, uh... Yeah, but Saturday, I think what started is I made a bomb-ass breakfast with the eggs and the bacon. Yes, I do remember that. And then that. Uh, our boy, um, Angie, made tea for us. He made me hot cocoa. Oh, he made you and Gnome hot cocoa. Yeah, he, I me, and, me and him had hot cocoa and Hushy had yeah. tea. God, how, we are so bad at remembering. Uh, but, uh, it yeah, was I great. don't remember a lot. <laughs> And then I think you took a nap most Saturday. Mm, you, like, you I, took, did, I did take a nap Saturday, but it wasn't. You took two naps, if I remember. You took a nap in the morning, got up, and then uh, we. No, I almost took a nap later on. I just went back into the tent and hung out. You did take a nap before the group dinner, though. If they had that dinner. Oh, yes, yes, I did. Never yeah. mind, you were right. Yeah, because. Uh... So, going. I visit people around camp, and uh, they had a couple things going on. Don't remember what events. Uh, they did have a uh, God. What's his name? Kite's uh, girlfriend. Why can I not remember Kite's Luna. girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. I can't say that for some reason. She made. She was only vendor, like vendor there. Yeah. And uh, she made my badge. She made. He was getting his badge from her soon, and some art. Uh. 
Yeah. They, and they, she made me a ref sheet. Yeah. I think I hung out with them almost. I went swimming in the river. That's what I did. I hung out with them and I swam river while King was doing what King was doing. Oh, yeah. You were making a ref sheet. That's yeah. what you were doing. And then That's after the ref sheet, you took a nap. You got hung out with her with the whole rest of the time, watching her do stuff after I swam. And, uh,. It was dinner time. You were excited for the group dinner, but you did not get up. (laughs) Yeah, I know I did. Although I wasn't very hungry when I woke up, which kind of disappointed me, but... I'm never hungry when I wake up from anything. So I didn't expect it. I just... I woke him up a couple times like, hey, dinner. I know he was excited, but I could tell he wasn't hungry. He was just like, eh. And then we had the group photo. Here's this group photo. Right here. Yeah. Uh, we did that. That was fun. Jesus Christ was there. Jesus Christ was like definitely a fan favorite. Boy Jesus. My homie Jesus <laughs> Christ. JC himself. So, this man was an absolute crowd pleaser. I don't think there was a single point when he was out and about where he didn't have a crowd of people around him. Yeah. And, uh, was it? I think it was Sunday night when he was riding around with Mastel on the beer cart. No, because he Mastel left Sunday. Oh night. yes, Saturday so night. A lot of people left Sunday because they had to go work the next day. We stood the whole time, so Sunday was kind of boring-ish, but it was fun at the same time. But we're not Sunday. Sunday I got yet. stuck on drunk duty. Yeah. No, that's yeah. That was Sunday, Sunday night. Uh, but before we get to Sunday, let's continue yeah. Saturday. Yeah, we had him and uh. What else did we do? Uh, I think we just hung out. Every, I, we drank a lot. We yeah. played Stump. Uh, I don't ever drink much, and when I do, I drink a lot. I don't stop. That's why I don't drink. I know I'm an alcoholic when I start. Yeah, and I'm not an alcoholic until I start drinking. With the good four guys. I flirt with Jesus Christ. Yeah, himself. he was flirting with Jesus yeah, himself. That's why, I, that's why I don't drink. I get flirty. I get hyper. Like, too hyper. Yeah. Uh... I get loud. I'm that drunk that no one wants to be around. I'm a partier, that's for sure. And uh, you were you were drunk. You were high. Yeah. <laughs> Marijuana is legal in the state of Montana. Yeah. Uh, you had a lot of that. Yeah. Uh, so we were both most of the weekend <laughs> intoxicated. Basically, we we're. I I did have quite a bit to drink too. Yeah. yeah. Not enough like I did. Not nearly as much as you but did. But I though. don't smoke. Yeah. There's a reason I'm a federal employee as He's well. a federal employee, so he can't. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we party, we hung out, we DJed with Sizzle for a while. Yeah, uh, we were hanging out with Sizzle while we were, while he was DJing. Yeah. And, and then they had a giant fire. This is when everyone was drinking. We had a guy, he's also, one of his sons is a fennec. He was brushing people's hairs and then yeah. he his cigar he was he, he was walking around brushing people's hair. And uh, earlier that day, they had the scotch and cigar tasting. It yeah. was a scotch rum and cigar tasting while I was napping, of course. And uh, we were all hanging around the fire, and he's puffing on the cigar and brushing out people's hair. Being clean, he was sanitizing the brush. Yeah, he wasn't like, it wasn't like hair to hair. No, he was. It wasn't gross at all. No, he was sanitizing his brush and being very clean about it. Yeah. But, um, so, uh. He comes up to me, sanitizes his brush. He says, do you mind if I brush your hair? I was like, absolutely not. That sounds amazing. So he hand... That was a cat. <laughs> that was your phone. Oh, <laughs> continue. Continue. Anyway, so he he hands me the cigar. He's like, you hold this for me? I was like, yeah, sure. So he's sitting there brushing my hair, and we get talking... We start talking about the cigar and rum and scotch tasting. I was like, oh, no, I fell asleep. I, I wish I could have gone. It sounded awesome. And he's like, oh, well, you better take a couple puffs of that. That's a $20 cigar there. You'll like it. I was like, hey, don't mind if I do. <laughs> you were almost like out of cigarettes. Too. Like you smoke and you're like not trying to p- point you out, but you could smoke a lot during the day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like uh but I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, yeah. <laughs> I no, it was it was awesome. Yeah, uh And then Saturday night we just hung out. Oh dude, I flirted every guy. Yeah. Well. All the hot ones anyways, uh <laughs> and uh Yeah, and then uh we laid in the tent and the other fan I kept tickling me for some reason. 
because I was like super drunk. It was like cuddle time. He oh, kept yeah. tickling me, and then you, I don't know how you slept through that. Oh, I my God. Like, oh. He was hooting and hollering and screaming, <laughs> and I just laid down and closed my eyes and go to sleep, go to sleep, go yeah. to sleep, go to sleep. You're like, nah. I was like, no, sleep. I ain't going to deal with this tonight. Yep. Uh, it was great. Uh, we did that. Saturday was just a good night. Someone had uh, THC chocolate. Or that was Sunday night. No, it was Saturday. Was it Saturday? Around night? the campfire. Yes, yes, it was Saturday night. No, it was really funny. So we were all just kind of hanging around, vibing. I was <laughs> sitting there smoking a joint, and uh, one guy had brought uh, THC infused chocolate for s'mores. And uh, after everyone was done eating their s'mores, he still had a couple pieces. And so he's like, Does anybody want any of this special chocolate? And uh, I held my tongue, but I definitely started creeping over. And uh, licking your lips. <laughs> about by th- about by the third time he asked, because he had he had asked over a certain period of time. I think it was like twenty minutes that I had been creeping closer to this guy. No, not to interrupt. I just no, didn't want to say anything. King was already hot. I was, he was ar- high the whole day. I was yeah no I had I'd been smoking all day long, <laughs> but uh um. He was like, does anybody want any of this THC chocolate? By the third time, I would crept over, and he looked at me, and I'm sitting there, like, staring at him, smoking my joint. He's like, i seen you creeping. Do you want some? I was like, you're right. I do. I was like, yeah. I was like, here, well, I'm chewing on this. Take a puff of this. And, oh, this is first time smoking a joint, so that was a very special moment for me. <laughs> a bro-to-bro moment. It was, it was a good bro-to-bro moment. But, uh, yeah, no, we shared chocolate, shared a joint, and then I, uh, crept back over to my little hole and just hung out for the rest of the night. And it was a good time. It was great. Uh, final night, Sunday night. Uh, well, Sunday, wake up. Uh, every, some, I say about probably 30%. like, yeah, about 30 to 40% of the people had left. We left. had worked on Monday, but the theme last fell Monday. Everyone's supposed to leave Monday, but you know, work and everything. Camp cleanup was Monday. Yeah. It wasn't, like, not enough people left where the still party was still on. I think most of the drinkers stood. Not, like, the heavy party animals, but... Yeah. There was a good amount of us. And, there uh, was quite a few people su- uh, Sunday night, actually. Yeah. yeah uh, especially especially at the DJ. I was depressed seeing the beer cart go away. Mr. Mastel the Dragon. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, funny story about Mastel. We, playing Stump... Um, everybody targets him because everybody likes to watch him drink because he is an entertainer. Here's a video of him breathing fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so anyway, we're playing Stump. Did we explain Stump already? Yeah. Uh, no, I did not. So you Stump's didn't? a game where you have a stump and uh, you put nails in it with people's Obviously. names. And uh, how you play is someone with a hammer. Flips, like do a flip. One flip is uh, one hit. Two flips is two. And then under the leg is two. For suitors, if they flip it once, they get two hits. And like three if, hits under the leg or something. If they flip it once, it's two hits. If they flip it twice, it's three hits. If they flip it under the leg, it's four hits. Yeah, something like that. Don't correct us on that. Uh, like we said, we're not professionals. Yeah, uh, but how you play is if you hit someone's nail, like hit it, uh, they take a sip what they have. And these... Alcohol bottles are like beers. People brought oh, jugs. Oh, people were bringing gallon jugs of moonshine and bottles of moonshine. So you get and fucked up pretty quick. You can that. get pretty uh, messed up. So you take a sip or, you know, drink when uh, someone hits your nail. And if you're going, if you miss the nail you're trying to hit, you take a drink. But if your nail get fully hit in where you can't even fill anymore... You have to jug whatever you have. It could be a full bottle of wine. It could be anything. Yeah, you gotta you gotta chug it all yeah. of it. Yeah, all of it. Uh, people, I got out right away. But to be fair, my two turns, I went. I almost hit the two pupils nail in instantly, and everyone feared me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He hit my nail, and it was probably a millimeter. Yeah, people from fear from being me. flush. And the best part about that was, is because there were so many pe- people playing. Everybody thought I was out until there was like eight people left and someone's like, hey, that one's still got a little bit of meat on it. Yeah. People (laughs) feared me because I was able to almost hit them in in my first hit. Because most people I watch them, 
they can hit about a quarter in on their first hits sometimes. I almost flush you and uh, Angie right away, but you guys had just a little bit left, and they never went targeted me at men, which I shouldn't have done that because everyone's like, oh, shit, get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's one of the games. And I wasn't supposed to be on Sunday, but everyone voted for it. Yeah, it was, a, it was a camp vote Yeah. to have it again on Sunday. But, anyway, Saturday – Stump, Mastel was incredibly drunk. Oh, good job. So anyway, Mastel was incredibly drunk. He had gotten his nail flushed early on and continued to keep drinking, as most people did. But anyway, he was incredibly intoxicated. I don't remember how this came about. I was incredibly intoxicated. All I saw was a dragon in a latex suit go flying land on the log stand up and his le- the spandex on his leg sheared off it was gone it was gone yep and it, he, he fixed it he showed it on twitter yeah. and telegram and i will show you a picture he did a good job fixing it here's a picture it was a great great job yes uh but anyway that 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 was just like one of the best mastel moments in my opinion he, he he's special i love him and then we we played uh, what's Mastel holding? Because <laughs> every he he'd drive by in the beer cart. He has this little one seater or no, it's a two seater. Yeah. Little two seater go kart that he keeps a a cooler in the back of, and it's got a giant Coors Light flag, and he delivers beer all over the campground. Yeah, and every time he drives by, we guess what's. Yeah, every no, because every time he drove by, he had something different in his hand. He'd drive by one way, he'd have. A can of Coors in his hand. He'd drive by the other way. He'd have a fucking martini glass in his hand. He'd drive right, back by. Way, he's got uh, a fucking joint in his hand. Uh, <laughs> a bottle of moonshine or... Or like one of those fancy pipes. Yeah, a fucking smoking fancy whatever. smoking tobacco pipe or yeah. a fucking joint or a blunt. <laughs> yeah. Every time he had something different. So we played What is Mastel Holding every time he drove by. Yeah. We should make that into a drinking game. <laughs> if you guess it right, you don't have to take a drink. Yeah, if you guess it right, you don't have to take he a drink. He goes around enough where you get drunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, uh, yeah. On to Sunday. Ooh, s- no, did the crazy rednecks come Sunday? No, they came Saturday. I don't really want to talk about them, to be honest. Yeah. They were intoxicated. They were, they were strange. Let's just say non-furries came to camp. They were cool and everything, but you could tell they were drinking. Oh, yeah. They were confused. like, what's this? And it's like... Yeah. Don't come yeah, here. and then and then I walked out in the suit and the guy looked at me, he's like, That's the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen, man. Yeah. They were intoxicated. <laughs> yes, very, 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 yeah. very, very, very drunk. They shouldn't have been driving. Oh no. And they had this strange van. The va- I think the van was it was a van. Oh, it was like it was massive van. It was an old GMC like box van. But they had cut the body right behind the drivers, like right behind the front seats, and it was just nothing. Yeah. It was just a piece of metal. They, they didn't even have a wall behind. No. Them. It was just seats. Yeah. Uh, they had anyways, the second row of seats and a sheet of metal. Yeah. Anyways, I forgot to mention our shooting. We went shooting. Yes. Uh, yes. I shot my dream gun. We already showed the video. You shot it. I've been waiting to shoot this. I've been waiting. Yes. I was so excited. I have the shell on the table by my rifle. You want to show the camera? I have it. That's a big bullet compared to my 308. I compare them. Uh, hey, dude. Three bucks worth of bullet. Hold on. Yeah, that's my small and that's the 50 cal. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it was great. We shot a whole bunch of guns. We had a but guess the gun that kicked the most. It wasn't the 50. It wasn't a G3, it wasn't an MP5. AK-47. It was my double barrel shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. Almost made three people eat shit shooting it. One guy literally almost fell over. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't, uh, I'm not going to go too much in it, but double barrels don't have a recoil man, like game built into it. So it kicks like a meal. And you shoot both barrels at yeah, once. Yeah, it's got dual trigger, so you can shoot both barrels yeah. at once. And boy, does it kick. Yeah. But, yeah, we did that, and then we partied Saturday, you know. Partied. So, yeah. I got super drunk at night. Dude, 
I have badass reflex. I always, like, uh, I never get up in the morning. Never once camping. And I drink. I ate a lot of spicy shit. You know, I was really concerned about my health for the first two days. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't take yeah. a shit for the first day and <laughs> yeah, a half we were back, there. Yeah, going back, he, so, he shits a lot. No, like, not trying to get that in your guys' head. <laughs> at camp, you didn't, didn't go for two days straight. straight. Oh, I, my God. I asked him, like, dude, you, you should go. And then Angie, <laughs> the one morning, 6 o'clock. No, Thir- like, the third morning, Saturday morning, I get up, and I'm like, you know, I wake up in the morning. I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, God, I don't want to get up. And I, I woke up Saturday morning. I'm like, thank God. I got to take a shit, man. Finally. And I was like, I got to go. And so I walk my happy ass up there. <laughs> Dreading. <laughs> the toilet seat's like, it's 32 it's degrees. It's 32 degrees outside. And it's a plastic toilet seat in a concrete box. Do you just... Before okay, we before we continue, this was the nicest outhouse, outhouse I have ever laid my it's eyes on. It just never yeah, smelled. it's like a regular like fort like park outhouse, yeah. but it was literally like literally the sh- the floor was shiny. Yeah, like you know you expect after a whole bunch of party animals going in it for a four day stay straight would be stinky, ugly look. No, dude, I was not hesitant to take a shit at all, but. uh yeah, continuing. You were dreading. Yeah, no, I was. I was. Uh, yeah, I knew it was gonna be cold, but uh, I was just. I got. I got up to within about fifty feet, and I'm looking. I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be cold. I am not ready for this." I get up there. I go to open the door, and it's locked. I'm like, "Oh, sorry," and wasn't even thinking nothing of it. And then, uh, a little bit later, I'm kind of thinking, "I'm like, there's somebody in there." That seat's going to be warmed up for me. <laughs> and then the door swings open, and I see these feet come around, and I look up, and it's Angie. My man. My man. I look at him like, you have no idea how much of a blessing it is to see you right now. I was not ready to sit oh, down on see? that seat, man. <laughs> he, he looked at me. He's like, that was fucking horrible. He's like, it was so cold, I couldn't move. Yeah, and then you <laughs> sat down. I sat down and... Mm. Yeah. So, God, I was is, so happy. I was like, I wasn't asleep, but I was laying there, but it was cold. I didn't want to leave the sleeping bag. It was like 6 in the morning. And I hear Angie and King talking out there about the whole toilet seat thing, laughing. And then they're like, is Hushy up? And I just ripped ass. Oh, yeah. I thought I heard. I thought I heard some rustling in the tent. So I was like, oh, "Hushy must be awake." And then the fucking cheek rumbler, man. Oh my god! It. I heard it echo. It echoed in the tent, and the reverberation. I could feel it. Yeah, you just like. It's I, like <laughs> it felt good, and I came out. And I was like, I got a shit. Oh, uh, what was it? Friday morning. The first morning we were there, uh, I had woken up freezing cold. Everybody was awake, but it was freezing cold, and nobody knew anybody else was awake, so we all just kind of sat there, like, laid there, and just said nothing for probably a good 20 minutes. Yeah. And then we started, and then, uh, me and the other Fennec, uh, started talking to each other, and I asked him if Hushy was up, and Hushy, he was like, yeah. And I, <laughs> I kind of like <laughs> lean up in my cot and like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, because uh, I heard them too. I'm like, I'm normally always awake. I just don't move because I'm like cold, you know, like you don't want to move. And I hear him like, yes, yeah, so is she awake? Yeah, I don't know. And all of a sudden I go, yeah, I'm awake. And I was in here, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was a good time. It was a good yeah. time. But continuing Sunday, we we're up. Sunday was a big night for me. Yeah, get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sunday, we we're there. It was great. Everyone wake. No, everyone was depressing. Half like almost half the camp leave. Yeah. And stuff. But it was more of a chilling day. You looked at your art. That's when your ref sheet got done. Uh, it was just more of a vibe day. Everyone relaxed. We played stump at night, and then. 
the best DJs of my life. Sizzle was good. I would put him with these DJs, but he had to leave. But Sunday night DJing was probably a party and a half. It was honestly the most impressive two sets. Yeah. So, Kai, sorry, Kai, I'm calling you out. He never DJed before. No. And this fucker had, had the best songs, and he started playing a French horn. Here's yeah. a clip. I'm going to show the clip. He had a mini French horn. Watch this. Yeah. yeah. So, he played that, and it was fucking beautiful. I almost cried. Oh, my video. God. It was so glorious. Never will ever see a DJ play an instrument in front of everyone like that. I don't think anyways. But it was great, and then Cooper started playing. He played Smoke Weed every day. Yeah, me and me and Cooper were lighting up while he was playing it. Uh, well, I was going to light up with him, but I wanted to keep my stuff at the tank because I didn't want to pack it around. So I went back, lit up, came back. Cooper lit up while we were playing the song, and it was a good time. And then uh, roughly halfway... You say halfway through his Cooper set, there was a... Yeah, so not much con. I don't know the full story, but someone had like a seizure or something. Wasn't like a major one, like dangerous? No. But you should always call the ambulance yes. if someone has one. And I don't know how the fuck that ambulance got out there. They were in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But uh, yeah, one got there, they checked him. So all these guys were just like looking, the party stopped. And DJ Cooper and them were trying to get their attention. Kai was killing to stay off the road. So you disappear for a bit of help with that. Yeah, because I am I am a medically trained firefighter. So I was offering my assistance to the director of the camp. And uh, there were some very, very, very intoxicated people there. Yeah. And there was one guy who was trying to get into the ambulance and this man had absolutely no idea what was going on no idea why they were here who they were here for he just wanted to get in the ambulance because he was concerned yeah it wasn't like and, but oh my god this guy's in options it's just trying to do it, it was more it was more of a safety thing for the paramedics He's a, wasn't he a bigger guy he was like taller it was he was he, he was very tall but he was also very skinny yeah so uh yeah he was trying to get in and then like uh you and uh, uh another person were yeah. dealing with that and then uh i did dishes during this time so after all that's done uh they got him out blah 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 how I, we started the party back up was I chugged a beer. Yeah, yeah. Af, after the ambulance had left, we were all still partying because it was only about halfway through. Because each, each DJ gets technically two sets. They just usually mash them together. Yeah. So it's longer. But each one of them usually gets like an hour to an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was quiet. People were, like, not dancing anymore. So everyone was I waiting for the ambulance to like, leave. Let's do this country style. Yeah, he, he looks me. He looks at me, and by this time, we had already taken the suits off. It was hot. It was getting hot. You know, there was, tired. I was wrangling drunks, yeah. and uh, so getting the party back started, and uh, Hushy looks at me. He's like, let's do this country style. I was like... I wasn't quite sure what he meant because... And this wasn't a normal bottle beer either. Oh, no. It was huge. No, it was... It was, what, a 24-ounce bottle? Yeah. I chugged it and we... Chugged started. the whole thing. Started. Here's a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll show a little part of that. But, uh, yeah, we chugged the whole thing and then uh party was going the rest of the night. And then we ended off around the campfire telling stories and being heart-to-heart -heart <laughs> with everyone. Yeah, but uh, I give out a good fucking speech. I can't say it word by word. I don't remember it. No, I just remember it was heartwarming. Although this is the reason why I don't remember it. I don't remember anything after Cooper stopped. So like after eleven o'clock, I don't remember anything after that. You were high. Because I was hanging out with the person who helped wrangle the drunk i was hanging out with them and their partner and a couple other people and they had a dab pen again legal in montana mm -hmm. 
and we were all passing it around and talking and having a good time. And the person who owns it looked at me and says, I bet you won't hit a blinker. And might I remind you, this is marijuana wax, so it has a higher potency of marijuana, so it's stronger, much, much stronger, in fact. And the nor- the normal hit you'd take off of one of these is two, maybe three seconds. Yeah. And t- what a what a blinker a blinker is is you hold it you you hit it until the light blinks and it automatically stops firing. Fifteen seconds, I took a hit off of this pen. And I don't think I have ever coughed so hard in my life. And it fucked me up, dude. (laughs) (laughs) From there, I was just gone. And we kept passing it around after that. So it kept going. It went around the camp. I didn't do it because, no. Federal And as well, all the beer was gone. All the beer was gone. So, I mean, it was the last night. We were all just kind of hanging out. And I knew I shouldn't drink much, but we had to drive the next day. Yeah. But, uh... Even though I ended up driving. I drove a good part. You, of, I you drove, drove the whole way up. Yeah, you drove the whole way up. And then I drove, like, what, only... <laughs> I hope to God that saves. It saves it every time. Oh. All right, hello. Sorry about the difficulties the sudden the sudden stop our the camera, uh, overheated. camera overheated it is hot in here yeah I'm it sweating, is so it is incredibly hot. hot in here but anyways we're uh i think we were at the fire pass around you took a big hit uh, yeah yeah so yeah after that next day we cleaned up the camp uh yeah we did the tent tent was super easy till i realized my wallet <laughs> keys were still in the tent so we had to undo it he <laughs> left left his wallet and his keys in yeah. the tent so we, we had, had to, to we had to we had to untie it, unroll the tent, unfold it, get the keys out, get the keys out, unroll. fold it back up, roll it back up, tie it back up. Uh, but yeah, we did that. But, we packed up. I drove good 40, 50 miles, and that one gas station coffee place. We were like, finally a coffee. Yeah, they were closed. They were closed. <laughs> <laughs> so by the time we get to the next town, it was 11 o'clock. It was like 11 o'clock, and we're like, fuck, now it's way too hot for coffee. Let's yeah. go. Did s- not have a single sip of coffee this whole trip. Get some McDonald's. and Yeah, we got McDonald's. I had coffee. You took a 30-minute shit again. And then, yeah, I had, a, I had a coffee when we were on our way there. Yeah, to McDonald's. And then I had a, a flavor of water that was lime. And it was actually yeah, really good. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, you no, know, it's funny. I didn't finish that. And I left that in my truck for the t- one and a half weeks. And I had the rest of it Saturday. It was a hot lemonade. Hot Tasty. lemonade. Yeah, lime lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that good, but I was thirsty <laughs> on the hot mail route. But, uh, yeah, we did that. We got home, unpacked. I think you and me were pretty tired. Yeah. Uh, and that's where we ended. And that was that. That was our trip Camp to Camp Paw. 2022. Or 20, to you, 20, 2020, man. 2020. <laughs> Funny clip. Watch the video. Funny clip. Watch this. Reprint. I might not put that. I might TP too late. Maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe. It yeah. may Just or may not video. be here. Give Just watch videos. the Camp Paw video. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's in that. Yeah. Sponsored by Funny Fox Sushi. Camp Sponsored Paw. by definitely not McDonald's, <laughs> but I've got a sweet tea and it's good. I drunk all mine. But yeah, this is, we're going to end it. Uh, this is a uh, podcast. Podcast episode Sushi. one. And I am the king. Yep. And we, we have been your gracious hosts. Yeah. And uh, next week, I think uh, I think the topic's going to be about the worst jobs we worked and had. Uh, Grocery stores. We might change subject if anyone has any good ideas. Leave your ideas know. in the commentation box yeah. below. Uh, check out King's channel. Or don't. That's fine. Check check out my TikTok. Check, check out my TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. If you if you if you like mountains and machines my tiktok is for you yeah and this is my talk session this king and podcast is out